to my channel. I'm like all red and sweaty from we were sitting outside by the pool and it is toasty outside, but I wanted to do some back to school shopping. It is, I think it's tax free weekend, my sister said, for just this weekend. So I wanna buy some things, nothing crazy. They have a lot of stuff that they already need. So I'm gonna be heading out soon, but I'm trying to figure out what shoes I wanna wear with this outfit. I got this cute tops from Sincerely Jewels at TJ Maxx when I'm shopping with my sister Latina. And then I have this pleated skirt from Abercrombie and Fitch. And then I'm trying to think which shoes I wanna wear. Like, do we wanna go full preppy or like comfy flats? Thinking flats. I don't know. Like this is cute, but I think the white socks with this is kind of throwing me off. I'm so excited to have my own car. I drove back from New York on this car here or from Pennsylvania. We did visit New York as well if you guys watched that vlog, but I'm like so excited to finally have my own car. We sold all of our cars other than the truck that was hauling the fifth wheel RV. Like organized everything. I got like a few things off of Timu and Amazon and stuff for like organization. Like this whole pouch of all my little things that I'll need, a little first aid kit, just like, I don't know. I'm having like a lot of fun with it. But all right, let's go to Walmart. We're soaked. Oh my goodness, we got soaked. We are so soaked. We got soaked in the rain. It wasn't supposed to rain today. But man, what a terrestrial downpour. We are done with school supply shopping. We really didn't need much, just like new pencils, new crayons. I got them all, some pencil boxes, crayon boxes. Whew, I'm like out of breath. Oh my goodness. What else do we get? Construction paper? Yeah. And then I have to go through their- Some notebooks. Some notebooks. Oh yeah, some composition books. And what folders. Some folders. But otherwise we're all good. Got some storage baskets for the RV for when we move back. But just like for our closet. I always like to check Walmart and things like that to see what they have. I found this really cute pajama set. It's ribbed and it has like wide leg bottoms. So really cute. Also picked up this. It's a full leather skirt. I thought this was adorable for the fall time. And then this vest, like Walmart, guys. This is Walmart. I've been shopping at Walmart since like day one, since I had kids. They have some of the best prices, and then they'll have really, really cute things. This cute sweater. They had like a cable knit version of this as well. I thought this would be like an adorable outfit. And then just like some leggings with like this ribbed. They had a ton of ribbed tops. And the best part is that it's really affordable. Like they don't really have crazy expensive stuff. What is up, you guys? It's been a couple of days since that last clip. I wanted to bring a lot of stuff back into the RV, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Got my iced matcha that I made, and I packed up the trunk. I got all our homeschool stuff. I just kind of want to slowly, because we're gonna be moving back into the RV soon, and living in the RV, that's the plan, while we build, whatever. And um, so I took all of their homeschool stuff, I got it in the trunk, and then a few other things that like, I'm not gonna need, and I just wanna go in and slowly start, because it's so crazy trying to move stuff from one place to another, like all their clothes, everything, it's just so much. Plus I gotta orient all their homeschool materials, like get it prepared. We're gonna be starting August 5th, no, September 5th. I wanna do a whole video on that, which I have one last year if you guys wanna check it out, but I wanna do another video kind of showing how I organize everything and what I'm gonna do and how it works because I know when you first get everything from BJU there's so much stuff it can be so overwhelming so that's what I'm doing now come with me our RV is in storage right now it's been there for the past couple of months and hopefully we can move back in soon even though it's like a small tiny space um, I don't know I miss having my own place for sure I'm literally sweating literally sweating the AC is not on in the RV obviously because it's in storage look at this natural glow of sweat but I took everything out of the trunk, brought it into the RV. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to organize it a little bit. I wanna take their old school stuff from last year and put it into storage just in case for record keeping. Probably store it in my sister's attic, hopefully she doesn't mind. And then put their new stuff away, like not do it yet, but just put it away or keep it in the boxes, put the DVDs away, and then just kind of organize the stuff that I brought, like the kids' toys, the books. But I'm not gonna stay here too long because there's no AC. I'm roasting. I might go in the car, turn on the AC, and sit in there. It's not too bad, but I was just like hauling all these heavy books. But I missed the RV. It's like our little home sweet home with all our stuff here. I missed it so much. There is a beeping sound, by the way. I'm not sure what that is. Ignore it. We're just going to ignore it. So first thing that I want to do is I want to go through their stuff from last year. So last year... I have this whole entire bin of stuff that 100% I'm not going to need. Basically what this is, is answer keys and the parent guides. So when BJU sends you 
all the material if you're doing the DVD option, you're going to get a whole stack of parent guides. They look like this for every single subject. Let me go ahead and grab one and answer keys. And I literally did not use them because everything's online. They're doing the teaching, so I just never needed them. So all this, um, I'm just going to put away in a box. And then some of their stuff from last year, like all their work texts and pages and binders and stuff from last year, put that away as well so I can make room for the new stuff. For example, here's the phonics and English reading parent guide. It has the video lesson guide, which you get a compiled video lesson guide. This um, Each parent guide has subject specific video lesson guides. Again, I don't need them. And then basically has answer keys, which you can find these all online. So it's just, I don't know if like it's, it's nice, I guess, if somebody wants this for me, don't even use it. So I'm not, I'm getting rid of them. And even this year, I've already put all of them in storage because I already, I'm not even about to store them because I know I'm not going to use them. Okay, I unboxed all of their DVDs this year. There are so much more because I added in Bible. And then also because for grade two, they separate phonics, reading, spelling, all of that. Whereas last year, it was just one DVD. Phonics was all in one. It was really long, but it had everything. It had composition, spelling, reading, all of that was in it. Whereas here, they're all separated. Reading is a separate DVD. Spelling is a separate DVD. Um, handwriting is a separate DVD, so there's just more DVDs in general, but last year I was able to, I think I had like this much. And then also they send you shipping labels, so be sure to keep those. And then they, the boxes, keep them because you're going to need them to return at the end of the year once it's over. I'm slowly cleaning out their stuff from last year, putting in this bin here. And then I'm going to leave those empty, I'm going to work on those for this coming school year. But I kind of wanted to show what I keep, so when you get everything from BJU again it seems like a lot of stuff my recommendation is to go through and organize it by grade if you're doing multiple grades and also by subject so like lay everything out for example Bible you have the workbook right here and then you have the student handout every single subject is gonna have one of these packets of sorts and these are their student handouts their student handouts are material that they need not every single day are they going to be doing a student handout it sounds confusing at first but every single lesson usually they do have a work text page from here sometimes there'll be a student handout as like extra work sometimes there won't be so go through and organize subject by subject seems really confusing and then also some subjects have textbooks if you will so for example history has a textbook it's not a work text page in the sense that they're not going to be writing in it it's like a textbook filled with information so their textbooks i separate and i put in these right here so i have one drawer for my son one for my daughter and in the bottom i'm going to put all of their tests i'll try to show it once it's organized on like a homeschool day but that's just kind of what i do brief overview i'm literally dying not let me die. Just kidding. But I feel like I'm literally dying. Oh my goodness, that was. I couldn't even organize it how I wanted to. I did get all of their old school stuff out, and I just put the new stuff. I still have to do the binders for the year, but we are not doing that today. There's no electricity because this is just storage, and it is just so toasty. It's such a hot. Like August is the worst worst month in South Carolina. This is not for me. But I still have to go to the post office and return an H&M order and then see maybe there's like a Starbucks on the way or a Dunkin' Donuts because I have just lukewarm water here. I'm hoping there's like a Dunkin'. We are getting close to Dunkin' Donuts. I put my camera on this little silicone mat so hopefully it doesn't wobble around too much and hopefully you can hear me through all the highway noise. But I haven't had, my sister ran out of, we were away, okay, let me backtrack. We were away in Philly and then visited New York and the whole time we were away, we, my sister ran out of the good coffee beans and she never reordered any new ones. Usually I'm the one that orders the coffee beans. So she purchased some from, she purchased like Starbucks ones, but it accidentally purchased ground ones. And Starbucks in general is like not my favorite. Since we've been back, I haven't had like good coffee. I actually, I would drink like a few sips and I'm like, okay, this is not it. And I would just be drinking matcha and I've been really liking it. Like I'm all good. I don't feel like I'm withdrawing or anything because I am such a big coffee drinker in the sense that 
not so much lately for the past half a year or so I kind of narrowed it down to one maybe two cups like midday but I'll have like one latte a day and for the past week I haven't really been having any coffee at all and matcha has been like my best friend I love matcha but we don't have any good coffee beans at home so I'm gonna go to Dunkin Donuts and get a cold brew I like their cold brew so my favorites from Dunkin are just like a small hot coffee with cream that's my go-to but I want something cold so I like their cold brew with the sweet cold foam I don't add creamer in it because I feel like whenever I ask for creamer it ends up looking like milk and then the thing with the cold brew is that once you mix it into the cold brew the cold foam mixes in it almost acts like a creamer so I don't even ask for creamer I just do cold brew with sweet cold foam you could add caramel or whatever if you wanted but sometimes it's like too sweet so I just like it plain that's like my go-to from Dunkin. Dunkin doesn't really do good specialty drinks in my opinion. I do like the pumpkin just because it reminds it's like so nostalgic for me but I don't know I just like the coffee from Dunkin. I like coffee from Dunkin and then Starbucks has in my opinion nostalgic like holiday drinks like peppermint mocha or something just like once in a while just like those holiday drinks but otherwise I like my lattes at home my coffee at home I have a pretty decent machine and just tastes so much better you save so much money but no beans I had ordered some from Thrive Market I think my order is going to come in tomorrow though so we're just going to go to Dunkin for today alrighty we made it thank you can I just get a regular cold brew with cold foam sweet cold foam okay did you have any flavor uh, no flavor, just like a small. Can I be off, please? That'll be all, thank you. Alright, it's 4.89. Thank you. We got the goods. It's so dark, so you can't really see much. But we got the cold brew with sweet cold foam. That's what it looks like. And by the time everything mixes together, it's basically like a creamer. The cold foam acts like a creamer. They have the salted caramel right now, but I feel like that one's too sweet, so I just did sweet cold foam. Not bad I mean it's not like my favorite favorite so I'm gonna go home I guess I'm not gonna go to the post office and I want to make ooh sir I want to make a roasted tomato soup my mother-in-law gave us a bunch of, ro of tomatoes from her garden and I did it earlier this week but I did it with rosemary I ate it all we my husband tried it my sister tried some and I feel like rosemary I don't know we're not crazy I'm not crazy about rosemary so this time I'm not gonna use rosemary and I'm just gonna try it without the rosemary and then with some grilled cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy, yummy. Let's make this roasted tomato soup. I have a bowl of tomatoes here from my sister's garden, actually. She told me to use up her ugly tomatoes. She's away for her overnight trip with her girls. But she has like these tomatoes she wants me to use up. The not so great looking vegetables. So I found a random recipe on Pinterest. All right, one red pepper small onion, garlic, Italian seasoning, one to two cups broth, heavy cream. I have everything except for basil. She doesn't have basil. And I think she has a red pepper as well. Okay, we got the chopped tomatoes, onion, and garlic cloves. Drizzle some olive oil. We're gonna do some Italian seasoning. And then my sister does have dried basil, so I'll just use that. Add some of that on here. I want lots of flavor. So add some dried basil leaves. I'm gonna add a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes for some spice. Oh, I totally forgot the red pepper. Let me add that in. I'll add that in last. Some salt, pepper. I'm gonna add the red pepper and then put it in for 30 minutes. While that is roasting, she didn't have red pepper by the way, it was just green pepper. We're gonna try it out, we'll see. I don't know, I love tomato soups, so now that it's like tomato season, there's so many tomatoes, might as well. But let's do some unboxing. All right, what do we have here? Oh, I have my other press-on nails. So I just applied these from Glamnetic, and I have a video sharing about these as well as lashes tinting my brows but how cute I ended up getting these as well this is the bubblegum glaze how stinking adorable are these it's like a light pink french tip with a glaze coating on top so pretty they are a little more on the expensive side at $19.99 like $20 a set 
but they look so realistic if you do them right. Wait for that video. I also ordered a Gua Sha Glide. This is Blue Tansy, Blue Chamomile, and Squalane. Just because I want to get back into using my Gua Sha and like draining lymph nodes every morning. I've, I've been using my hands. I left my Gua Sha in the RV. But I wanted a skincare product that would aid in the gliding. So I saw this and I was like, oh wow, perfect. It seemed like it had pretty good ingredients. Look how pretty. It's like a nice blue oil. I'm going to go ahead and smell it. Yep, smells exactly like blue tansy. Because I've had a blue tansy oil before. Definitely smells like blue tansy. The ingredients are so simple. It's just basically a bunch of oils. What else do we have here? Oh, I ordered some more lashes. So recently I did a video of basics of lash application, like lash application A to Z, start to finish. I'll try to link that video here if I don't forget. And I was using the Baileon Green Extend Clusters, which are kind of like their environmentally friendly material. I don't know anything about that. So I ordered some of their other styles. I ordered ZJ02 and ZJ15. I don't know, they just look really pretty. The fibers are so soft. So I ordered some more because I've just been really liking the original ones that I got. So I ordered some other styles. This is for the kids. I love Boca kids i love the orange cream one i use for the kids and then they recently came out with watermelon mint how fun is this and then i will use the boca the element one for me and my husband oh this actually smells really nice all right and then i got a travel case for my billy razor i took it with me when we went to philadelphia and the razor itself like the the plate I don't know what it was coated with, but it gets like super goopy. I was like, I need to get a travel case for this, and then I need to stack up on some more razor heads. I love the Billy Razor. It has like a little magnetic thing you put on the shower, and it attaches with a magnet. And you, all I do is just buy the refills, if you will. So I don't know. I really like it. And then last but not least, I have my storage bins, I believe, that I ordered for the RV. I wanted some good quality storage bins so i got these right here and i think i'm gonna place it on top of their dresser and just put like random stuff in here but i just wanted like sturdier ones because i bought so many from the dollar store and they rip so easily so i was like you know what i'm just gonna invest in some good quality ones and i can always use it in their closet when we moved into the house this looks and smells so good so what I'm going to do now is add it. I don't even know where to put this camera. I'm going to add it to the Vitamix blender here, my sister's blender. Some heavy cream. Where is the heavy cream? Did we use it all up? Stop it. I guess we did. So we're going to add milk. Get all those juices in there. For broth, I'm going to do this bouillon paste. I'm just going to eyeball it like I usually do. Some milk for some creaminess. I'm not gonna put the center part in to let the steam up. I mean, it's not that that hot. Got my soup here. Added some sour cream, a dollop of sour cream, some sprinkled some cheese. Got my little grilled cheese sandwich and a bon appetit. Let's try this out. Where is the boring? Mm-hmm. So good. So good. All right, I'm gonna eat the soup. And I'm going to join the kids in the pool. Probably going to finish this vlog here. I don't know why. Is it blurry? It is blurry. It's like so weird. I don't know what's going on. Unless it's just my eyes are like messing with me. <laughs> but I'm going to finish this vlog here and then probably pick up the camera another time around. But thank you guys for hanging out. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.